what is the lowest grossing film of all time? As I sit here on this gloomy New York evening, these are the sorts of questions that I find myself asking. Looking around, there's really no way for me to find this information out easily with something that I always keep in my pocket. That's why I'm a detective, I find these things out. Now, we know what the highest grossing film of all time is, right? That's Avatar, with a whopping $2.79 billion worldwide gross. Nowadays, because movies are getting so expensive, a film can make a lot of money and still be a flop. Tomorrowland, last year, made $93 million here in the United States. Sounds pretty impressive until you realize it costs $190 million to make. Ouch. But that's nowhere near the lowest grossing film of all time, ladies and gentlemen. Fantastic Four, 56 million on a 120 million dollar budget. But it's still not even close. The Avengers of Pluto Nash, starring Eddie Murphy, classic, cost 100 million dollars. Made 4 million at the box office. That's 25 times less than what the movie cost. But we're still only scratching the surface. The lowest grossing film of all time is a film called Zizix Road with a domestic total gross of $30. Not $30,000, $30. Smack rooms. With a budget of $1.2 million, this film made 40,000 times less than what it costs. So what happened? Now you might be thinking it was because no one could figure out how to spell the title Zizix Road. Well, see, that's Z-Z-Y-X Road. But that's not why. Maybe the actors were really bad. Nope. This film was released in 2006, and its lead actress, despite mixed opinions, Catherine Heigl, won her very first Emmy Awards the next year. So it wasn't the actor's fault. So what made this movie so bad that only six people went to see it? The truth is, no one was supposed to see it. Our director, writer, and producer of Zizix Road, John Penn. Ironic name, considering his movies make no money. Ever since finishing your screenplay for Return of the Living Dead 3, you have just been itching to pull off your next project. You don't see much of a market for it in the United States, so you plan to release it internationally first. But before you do any of that, you have to fulfill an obligation to the Screen Actors Guild. See, when you're making a movie with SAG actors, you have to pay them a certain amount of money, but that amount changes depending on the budget of your film. If your film costs less than $2.5 million to make, you can pay your actors a lot less money. It's Zach's way of encouraging low-budget filmmaking. The one condition, though, is that the film has to be released in theaters in the United States. So if you're John Penny and you don't want to be another million dollars in the hole, what do you do? Here's what you do. You drive your ass down to Dallas, Texas, march up to the Highland Park Village Theater, plop down a thousand bucks, and get your film screen on one screen, once a day, at noon, for six days. You don't tell anyone, you send the paperwork to SAG, nobody sees the movie, and you're good to go. Except that inexplicably, Six people showed up to the Highland Park Village Theater, saw that there was a film called Physics Road playing, decided this is a good investment, paid five dollars each, and saw the film that was never meant to be seen. Thus the film with a total gross of thirty dollars. All except that until you realize that two of the people that saw the movie actually thought it was a premiere, and they were like makeup artists, so uh, they were personally reported by the director. So that means that technically, the lowest person film of all time made just $20. Now I want you to think about that the next time you're feeling sorry for Eddie Murphy. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 